Hey guys, 106, here we come. All right, so far we've done things like this. Let's look over here to the right. We've done things like, you know, uh, you know, three times X equals 12. And you know, you're gonna go, okay, three times some number equals 12. Well, the way I get that number is I go, okay, that number over here, 12 divided by three, that's the number for X. And 12 divided by three is four, right? And we've done those, um, uh, we uh, cross multiply the equations and sometimes we end up with something like 4 times n equals 20 and you go oh 4 times some number equals 20 that'll be 5 number is 5 20 divided by 4 is 5 all this is is we're going to do one thing extra and we'll make it look like one of the ones we've done before you know many many times so that is think about what this means like here if you say 3n minus 1 equals 20 well, that means three times the number n, whatever that is. If you take away one from that number, it equals 20. Well, there's only one number on earth you can take away one from, and it equals 20. What's the number? 21, right? Okay, so all we're gonna do is go, okay, well, you know, three n is equal to 21, because if you take one away from a number and you get 20, well, the number has to be 21, right? So we would just write this, three n, is equal to 21. So we can go 3 times some number equals 21, and the number is 21 divided by 3 or 7. That's all there is to it. Okay, all right? That is it. Another way, by the way, one more thing. If you see an equation, and we'll talk more about this later, any time you want, if you go, oh, that's complicated. If you have some number like this right by it, you can just move it over here. But when you move it from one side of the equation to the other side, what you're going to do is you're going to change the sign of this. So it won't be minus 1 anymore. In other words, you won't put, oh, 20 minus 1. No, you're going to put 20 plus 1. So 20 plus 1, of course, is 21. Let's try it one more time with something else. All right, let's try a green. Let's say if you have 5x minus 7 equals 13. You can say, you can visualize this and go, okay, five times a number, if you take away seven from that number, it equals 13. Well, what number, if you take away seven from it, gives you 13? You're just gonna add seven and 13, right? You can look at this and go, okay, I'm just gonna move this number over here. But when you move it from one side to the other, remember, it turns into the opposite. So that's gone, it turns into a plus seven. Well, 13 plus seven is 20. So five times some number is equal to 20, and of course the number is four, that's it. All right, try your practice problems, and you know, come back when you're finished with them. Okay, A is gonna be five. What you should have got was this. Uh, three times a number is equal to 16 minus one, right? Because if you move the plus one over, it turns into a minus one, right? 16 minus one is 15, boom, all right. B, if you move that number, Negative one over to the other side, what's it turn into? Positive one, right? When we have nine plus one is 10. Two times some number is 10, it's five again. All right, C, three y minus two equals 22. If you have this, three y minus two equals 22, you go, okay, three times the number. If you take away two from the number, it gives you 22. Well, what number can you take away two from, which gives you 22? Well, obviously it's 24, right? So 24, so this is your equation. 3y is equal to 24. Three times what number gives you 24? Eight, okay. D, 5m plus three equals 33. This is how it writes. And if you wanna visualize going, okay, I'm gonna move this over here. Well, then you're gonna to have to turn that positive three into a negative three. Okay, that's gone. So we have a new equation now. Five times some number is equal to 33 minus three. Well, five times a number equals 36, all right? Last two, 4w minus one equals 35. That means four times a number is equal to 36. Well, four times nine is 36. Last one, 7a plus four equals 25. If you wanna move the four over, or if you wanna think, okay, some number, uh, if you add four to it, gives you 25. What's the number? Mm, 21. So seven times what number is 21? Three, okay, all right. See you guys next time. Have a great day.